Hey guys, Funtime Timmy, and I'm just doing a single review because... Hopefully, he'll be back soon. So, next week is the release of the, one of my favorite movies, Top Gun Maverick. So, let's talk about Top Gun 1. This film is good, but it's not amazing like everyone says it is. Like, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Um, it's like a movie where they put a perspective in it and make the best out of the film. I love the first act. Does the second act just feels a little unnecessary and off, but the third act, you can be my wingman anytime, is great. <laughs> so I really enjoyed Top Gun. Excited for the new one. I mean, but the, that, but the death of Goose. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, the fir, I think I loved the first half that more than the second half. I mean, I loved the whole film. It's probably the most quotable movie I've ever seen. And Top Gun Maverick, I, while I think it's still going to be good, it's not going to be... I don't think it'll be the original. I mean, this is the director from the Tron Legacy and Only the Brave, so I, and those both sucked, so you better, I have probably medium expectations for Top Gun 2, but Top Gun 1 was awesome. I feel the need, the need for speed, but like, I feel like Val Kilmer's character was like the Top Gun version of Batman without being Batman. Like he was that playboy. You're right, I, I am dangerous. So I'm probably gonna give Top Gun an 89 out of 100. Stick, stay tuned for my review of Spider-Man 3. Dark Knight and then Top Gun Maverick. Anyway, I'm Frontown TV. See ya.